Howdy peeps! Welcome to another episode of my beer vlog. Something really special today. We will be tasting Fear Movie Lions Hazy Double A IPA by Stone Bring. See, I got my Stone Bring T-shirt on. Uh, one of my favorite breweries in the world, really. I uh, lived in America for quite a while, and yeah, so loving IPA as much as I did. Um, Stone Brewing IPA was one of the first IPAs that I really, really fell in love with. So probably the big three would be Goose Island, Lagunitas, and Stone Brewing. And this is a crazy IPA, it's a double IPA. So Stone Brewing actually one of the very first breweries in the world, or the first brewery in the world to ever make a double IPA or Imperial IPA. And I've never tasted their hazy IPA. Why is it called Fear Movie Lions? Um, apparently in their brewery in Virginia, it has a three meter square, which is part of the global addressing system for the unlocatable. So these three words are on there. Very interesting, I need to look up more about that. But yeah, interesting. Um, IPA obviously in America is, it was kind of brought there by this guy Ballantyne in the 1820s. He came from Scotland. He set up the Ballantyne Brewery. The Ballantyne Brewery kept going for so long. It eventually got bought out by Pabst. And I think they closed it only in around 1997 or something like that. So that's where IPA started in America. And almost certainly, in my experience, the best IPAs have come out of America. And this one has not been shipped. This one came straight on an airplane. Um, yeah, I've been to the brewery in San Diego, got my t-shirt. Absolute exciting beer to try. So let's give it a little whirl. Let's see what it's got. It's probably gonna be quite quite crazy. One of my favorite breweries in the world. Oh, very little carbonation. Proper deep color. So double IPA, we're we talking about 8.5. The original Valentine IPA had about 7.3, so this is a double IPA, 8.5. Original Valentine's had 60 IBUs. No, no, this one doesn't say. It says it's got laurel and mosaic hops, but no doubt we'll have around 60 or 70 IBUs. Let's give it a give it a sniff. Powerful. You can smell the alcohol as much as the hops. Yeah, packs a punch. Packs an absolute smack in the face. I mean, stunning, yeah. Very similar to the kind of styles that I like to brew very Crisp, clean, even with 8 point, what is this? 8.5% alcohol. Still tastes crisp and clean, not too much, like, um, yeah, not too much cloying sugariness. That is one crazy beer for a Sunday afternoon. Cheers.